взяли, я все взяли. Hey guys, what's up, what's up? It's me again, your boy Masokaga with another video. It's another day and you're thanking the almighty God. So guys, today I'm going to take you to Mombasa's biggest slum, Bangladesh. And we're going to have a trip there with my fellow Mombasa YouTubers. Let them introduce themselves. Hello, my fellow Kenyans. I'm Joseph TV Show. And my YouTube channel is all about lifestyle and also traveling. So you can go and hit that notification bell, like the video, and also share with your family and friends too. Hello, 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 my good people and Moses Okaga viewers. I'm Van TV Media. My channel is all about uh, comedies, uh, lifestyle, and interviews. So welcome to my channel. Go there, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell. Yeah, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell to the Moses Gemini TV. Oh yeah. places ah, so guys I'm in Bangladesh and I've just met the residents here and I want to interview them let them tell us the how how life is here okay so what's your name? my name is Brian Otieno yeah I'm from Bangala as in born in Bangladesh yeah so I'm here to actually in a mambo mengi sana changamoto kibao now I'm here to kuliza Oye, umesema umeshi umezaliwa Bangladesh. Shida gani kubwa sana ambazo watu mnazikumba hapa mambo kusu maybe maji, maji mnapata vizuri ama nini? Mambo kama hizo. maji ni shida. But chenenza sema sasa tumepata mtu mwenye anaitwa Mombasa Cement. So anatusaidia sana mambo na maji. Yeah, yani wao anakuja every Wednesday I think. Anatuana watu wanapanga foleni pale flats na tunapata maji. Yeah, hiyo at least maji at least tunaweza sema maji inapatikana. Uh, what about mambo ya rent, chakula huku mna ni expensive ama actually chakula huku ni mingi sana. Hmm. Chakula ni kibao na kuna venye chakula pia si expensive. Eh hmm. uh, iko chini kwa sababu kama ni kidheru unapata, njugu unapata zile za kupimwa na karatasi. Yaani maisha huku ni kama bara. Hmm. Yeah, so tuwashukuru Mungu yani chakula kibao hata kwa tunatoka mikindani kuja kuna tomato huko yani yani huko uko fit mambo na chakula mambo poa tu ndio maana unaona kuna mtu ada anaweza pata kazi nzuri lakini haizi uh, ama yani yani kwa sababu anajua chakula ni cheap compared kwa same zingine yeah by the way ni ngumu kwa mapa hmm. kwa sababu actually huko chakula ni nyingi ni kama bundu yani kwa majina aitwa nani aitwa Miss Fondo Biria Pingili hey, ile jina hebu rudi <laughs> Naitwa Hamisi Fondo Biria Pingili. Hamisi eh Fondo 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 Biria sawa. F O N D O. Oh Fondo. Ah. 
Hilo nilizaliwa nalo. Ah bwana Hamisi wewe ni mkazi wa hapa si ndio? ni mkazi wa hapa. Kwa hivyo wewe kwa kivi yako shida gani ambao kama mkazi wa Bangla unaona inawasumbua sana? Uh, katika maeneo yetu ya Bangla shida ambayo inatusumbua hapa ni sana sana tunaangalia kwanza basic needs ya. Basic needs ni kitaja mambo na kama vile maji na tukiangalia masuala ya ajira, chakula, ukiangalia hata nyumba zetu vile zinakaa zinakaa katika hali ndivyo sivyo. Na yote hii inasababishwa na ardhi yenyewe venye iko. Na ukiangalia sana Bangladesh hata eneo hili ambapo tuko eneo ambapo tuko sasa hii ya Giriamani limeathirika sana na mambo na mmomonyoko wa udongo. Sasa inakuwa ni changamoto kubwa katika eneo letu. Na unakuta kwamba serikali zetu za county, serikali ya, ya kitaifa halijawahi angazia swala hili la mmomonyoko wa udongo. Kiangalia hizi nyumba nyingi katika mtaa wetu wa Giriamani zimeenda na maji. Na zilienda mwaka ule uh, ya tuo 2017 hapo 2015 hapo ndio mvua nyingi ilikuja ka 2017 mvua ilinyesha nyingi sana inyesha nyingi sana na nyumba nyingi zilienda na hiyo hii ardhi venye iko ikazidi kudidimia zaidi lakini haijawahi angaziwa hata kidogo unakuta hiyo ni janga ambalo kwamba limekumba watu wengi lakini hawajapata mtu yeyote ambaye kwamba ama ni kiongozi ambaye anaweza wasaidia kwa kwa kiongozi wa hapa hmm. kwa ufupi tu yeah. unge kitu ungefanya nini yani ku ko kusaidia kazi ya Bangla. Kitu cha kwanza hmm. mkiongozi yoyote lazima aangazie kuinua viwango vya elimu that is number one. Education. Education is the priority. Hmm. Then number two, hmm. tunaangazia ajira hmm. kwa vijana ama ajira kwa jamii. Hmm. That is another priority ambayo kwamba lazima hizo vitu ziangaziwe. Kweli. Number two, hmm. maji. Na Hizi vitu vikikosekana boss. Hmm. Insecurity itakuwa very high. Bwana Toa nimeshukuru sana. Ah sawa. Now it's time to go and see what here. people eat yeah. here. We, I feel so hungry. Yeah, so so hungry. So hungry. We've walked for like two hours. So guys, but, but then for me I need chapati and marage. Yeah. Ama marage. Yeah, I'm also going to test that and we're going to see how much it costs. So, so come with us. Each. On so the uh, local cake. Yeah, we can test it together. Okay, so let's go. Bonjour. 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 Let's reach a party, chapati and dot. Chapati and beans. Chapati and beans. beans. So these are local delicacies that are most in yeah, house yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, our local cake. Yeah. Yeah. So we just want let us promote our local cake, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. So other delicious food. Like other hotels outside there. Yeah. Yeah, in okay. fact, the food in such hotels, uh, we find the food in such a restaurant. We call it what? Hotels are restaurants. They're just in this. Uh, they're fresh and delicious. Yeah. They're not like those are found in big hotels. Those in big hotels that have been putting refrigerators for for months but this one is fresh fresh food yeah, yeah. This is chapati and beans. One chapati costs 10 shillings and a plate of beans cost 20 shillings. So I bought three chapatis and a plate of beans which costed me 50 shillings. To say less, get to life is enjoyable because there is plenty of food, the housing is cheap. So guys, thank you for watching and supporting.
Until next time.